hello guys welcome again to the channel i hope people are doing well so um right now i'm at the ranch this is where the cattle and goats usually stay if you can hear their their sound they're hungry so um today's video i'm i'll be talking about solving the problem of external parasites in goats pigs and cattle the external parasites i'm talking about are things like lice things like uh, munch, things like scabies, things like uh, ticks. How do you solve these things? If you are familiar with my video, then you must have, if you have, if you have, if you have been following this channel for some time now, then you must have watched one of my videos where I talked about scratching in pigs. Scratching in pigs. A typical sign of external parasites in pigs is that they continuously scratch. And if you check their bodies, it is be as if that mosquito it will be as if that mosquito beat them on their body. Their body will be shining red and with all these mosquito bites. But those things are not, are not mosquito bites. It's just that those are the signs of you know, external parasites on pigs. Now, if you talk about goats, the, external, the main sign of external parasites being present in your goats is that they have, start having all these boys, things that resemble boys. And it's also the same sign you see when it comes to cattle. Your cattle, you see, see your cattle have, start having boys. I start having, you know, start having uh, wound injuries, but those things were not caused by, you know, by objects. They were caused by those external parasites that are present in their body. So those things, if they are left untreated, if they are left, you know, untreated, they will accumulate, and before you know it, it will start affecting your animal's health. So it's always advised that in whatever you are doing. You should always bring out a measure and a way to control external parasites in your animals. Now, how do I control or prevent external parasites in my animals? Uh, the funny thing is that how you control external parasites in goats is also the, is also, it's also the same way. It's also the same drug, the same injection you also use in controlling external parasites in both goats and cattle and pigs. So they are all the same. So um, how do I do this? First of all, there, is this, there are two ways to do this. There are two ways to go about controlling the sterile parasites. The first one is by injecting injection. The other one is by spraying them. Now, what do I inject them with? If you are into pigry, that means you are familiar, you are familiar with this drug. It's called the Ivobec, Ivobec. I don't know if you can see it very well. Ivomec. It's also called the intermectin, ivermectin, ivomec. It's all, all, it's all the same. So, if you are planning on controlling um, external parasites, what I mean by external parasites, I'm talking about ticks, I'm talking about uh, lice, I'm talking about scabies, I'm, I'm talking about mudges, I'm talking about all these things. So, if you are thinking of controlling all these things, then you need to have this drug, ivermectin, present in your farm because it will help you in a very, very, very huge way when it comes to controlling these things. And before, yeah, because one of the disadvantages of not controlling these things on time is that they affect your animal's immune system. Because if all these external parasites start accumulating, they will make them uncomfortable because they will always, if it's big, your pigs will always be scratching, always be scratching. And this is having a way of lowering their immune system. And once their immune system has been lowered, other diseases will come through. So that's why it's always advised that you control these uh, parasites in your animals. So the number one way I, you, you go about it is by using the ivermectin, which is uh, injectable. I think there's also the soluble, the one that the, you add in their feed. But that's only for pigs because my cattle, they mostly eat grass. Unless I add it in their water. But I've not used that one before, so I'm not telling you what I've not used before. I'll only tell you guys what I've used and what I've worked, what have been working for me. So I use this uh, ivermectin. I inject them for the cattle. There, it's for cattle is usually one meal. For the cattle, for the cattle, is usually one meal per 50 kg body weight. Then for the pigs, is usually one meal per 53 kg, one meal per 3 kg body weight. Then for the goats, is also one meal per 50 kg body weight but i usually use it for my goats i usually use it one meal per 20 kg body weight because at the end of the day what they write what they wrote here 
might not be you know what you work for your goods because the goods they use abroad there where they which is the main reason why they made this thing is different from the goods we use here i know so and their resistance to some of these drugs might also be different so i might inject one meal per 50 kg here and their body will not be able to you know their body will resist it but if i do it one meal per 20 kg you know that's big that's huge enough for their body to you know allow it to work so it's also different. Now there is another method I use, which is the spray method. The spray method is uh, you have to use acaricides. Now, which acaricides do I use? I use the acaricide called Amatrax. This is like the most popular acaricides in Nigeria, because if you are looking for there is this acaricide I was looking for before, peptrin, pemetrin, I be peptrin. I forgot the name, but it should be peptrin. So I, I, I was looking for that acaricide because. Like now, like the person that told me about it is, is someone that is based abroad. So the person was like, I will use, I will need to use a uh, peptrin as my main acaricide. But I was like, since I cannot find it, let me look for an alternative acaricide to use. And these cats were, they are, they are hungry. They are hungry. So the acaricide I use is uh, Amatrax. Now, if you go to your vet shop, Amatrax is also, uh, you can get it uh, at your vet shop. This Amatrax is what is used to, you know, prevent lice and all these external parasites in dogs too. So it's, it's always available in vet shop because here in Nigeria, most vet, vet shops are mainly for dogs because dogs are like the main animals when it comes to pets in Nigeria. So most of these vet shops focus mainly on uh, on dogs because hardly do you see people that raise goods going to buy drugs hardly do you see people that raise cows going to buy drugs hardly do you even see people that raise pigs going to buy drugs so the main thing that the main reason why these vet shops are around is for dogs i know to then sometimes for consultations of on poultry and send of poultry drugs yeah and that is why people buy drugs in nigeria is for poultry too so as i was saying this Amatrax, you have to mix it in water. Water, I usually, I usually mix it in this my tank. There is this, I don't know if you are familiar with this tank, this spray tank. So once you buy it, depending on, on the dosage, you mix it in this 16 liter tank, in this 16 liter spray, and then use it to spray your animals. So that's it. So you have to make sure that you are always up to date in preventing external parasites in your animals, because it's very, very important. Because if this external parasite persists, in your animals before you know it your animals will start having issues and they will not be growing very well so it's always advisable that you always you know inject and spray your animals so as to control external parasites now this is applicable in both pigs in both goats and in both cattle so so it works all around so that's it on today's video thank you for watching and as usual subscribe and keep on following the channel for more live talk, live talk, uh, live talk videos. So thank you for watching. Thank you.